I am dressed and doing it for myself today. This is my first Halloween video in my Halloween series. So I'm doing mini mess. I already have the costume, so I just wanted to do the makeup and I was going to do the hair, but it is raining. That is why you hear rain sounds because it is raining outside. So I went outside to film this for you guys and my hair is like a silken wet. So uh, that is why my hair is ratchet and that is why you will hear the sounds in the intro and the outro. So I, my apologies, but anyways, I hope you guys really like this tutorial. I find it really fun and easy and it's really cute just to watch even if you aren't going to be mini mouse and it might inspire you to do stuff. It's like a retro, retro mini mouse. I guess, I don't know, I really like the costume and I got this from Valley Village all for $30 and the makeup was like things can be really finer in your house and make yourself. So, hope you guys like this. So I'm just going to show you what I did for my nails and I just think they're really cute. It's kind of hard to explain but I just did a red French tip and I just polka dotted it with a nail polka dotter and so white little dots and I used a black eyeliner pen to put that little black almost like a thin line of a French tip across it and I just put like the elf eyeliner. It's a liquid one and just put a clear coat over top of that. Wait for it to dry and it will work just like you know nail polish so for my makeup basically i kept it my face makeup very simple for Minnie mouse i'm using my garnier skin renew under eye circle ruler and just patting it onto my under eyes to make them look birdie and then i'm just using my covergirl press powder in buff beige and i'm just setting my concealer and making my face a little bit more flawless just like a mini mouse's and i'm just knocking off any excess powder from my face so using my MAC bronzer in Sunny, I'm going to focus on my cheekbones and my temples just to really draw them out and make almost contrast between them because Minnie Mouse has really cute look like features and stuff. So I focus more on my cheekbones and my temples as you can see. And the blush I use, of course, for those little cute Minnie Mouse pink cheeks, I use my Icings blush in pink and I'm just dabbing it onto the apples and I'm not going anything but... So I'm just sticking to really natural eyeshadow. So I'm using Virgin by the Naked Palette. And I'm just applying over the lid as a base just to basically cover your eyelids from like all the weird, disgusting veins. And just make them look more cutesy and flawless. Because no, heavy makeup is not Minnie Mouse makeup. So using a little pencil brush, I'm taking the Urban Decay Red Color. And I'm applying that along the lash line. Just like so as a red eyeliner which will really bring out your eyes and make it really pretty and make sure to get the brush wet before applying for easier application. So using Hard Candy's Sparkle Liquid Liner, I'm applying that over the red to make my eyes really sparkle and glisten just like Minnie Mouse's and make them really wider and just pretty looking. So I really love this eyeliner in general. And now I'm using Rimmel's 2-in-1 mascara and I'm using the volumizing brush and focusing on the roots of my lashes and now I'm taking the lengthening brush which I also love and I'm applying that to the tips of my lashes which makes them look really long but at the same time full. So for the lower lashes I'm using Maybelline's Rocket Mascara in Waterproof which I love. And a quick tip for you guys is just take a spoon when your lashes are damp or wet and just kind of curl them with it and it works just as well as an eyelash curler I find and it's just all around great so I'm not gonna lie my nose kind of sucked and I was using my MAC eyeliner pen in black what I did is I kind of made my nose a little bit more triangular shaped which is bad because it draws attention to your nose and it kind of makes it look more bigger which my nose is plenty well big enough so just try to kind of circle it more I kind of tried to fix it but it didn't really work any red lip is great for this makeup because no mini mouse red just works i'm using cherry gelato by bath and body works which tastes so good so now it's time for my costume which is the best part of it all i'm not the one for darn expensive costumes and these gloves and these mini mouse cute little ear things are adorbs and i love them so i got this costume from value village for only $30, everything except for the shoes, which are very cute, and they're not that expensive too. These are them. They're little black wedge heels, and they go really well with this outfit I find, or the costume, I guess. So that is the dress, and I just love it. It's very retro. It said on the title, which is from Valley Village, if I didn't say, it's the Retro Minnie Mouse. So I love it because it kind of looks old-fashioned, but at the same time, really cute. It has a sweet heart neckline, and it kind of flares out at the waist it's just really flattering on it kind of can make you look bigger depending on your body shape but all, all around just love this costume so that is sadly the end of my first halloween video i hope you guys like it i'm so sorry for like again the rain not being able to film the cuter backgrounds but 
Anyways, I hope you all like this and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you like. Happy Halloween. And comment in the comments below of what you're being for Halloween because I really like to just know. So I love you all from the moon back. Have a great day. Bye.